Merry Christmas, everybody! It's snowing! Well, we got the timing on that one perfect. Yep. Anyway, g'day everybody, and welcome back for some more Terraformers! It's snowing Nitrice, Capax kicking it around, I'm throwing basketballs at him. Dashing through the snow. In a one, Capac opens sleigh. How do I build a sleigh? Oh! <laughs> what machine do I need to build a sleigh? I don't know. Uh, but, I do know what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, I'm going to be working on our new base. Because with Nev having successfully managed to make a proper airlock script, and I believe, Nev, you've got thoughts on how you're going to work some uh, notification lights and heating into it as well? Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, yep. We just have to decide on the colors. Oh, and one thing I noticed, if you're building a new airlock, it's a new base. Um, we need more than one gas sensor. Okay, we need one because it's per not, block. It's not in the middle, uh, oh. it's like in one cell always, and it, okay. it drains unevenly if you only have one. So a two cell one needs two gas sensors, and if you have like more, you oh. need at least one the furthest from the vents as possible. Well, I was also going to try and use one of the fancy new vents too, for the new airlock, when I build it. Would that be a problem? No, that's fine, but we still need, like, the guest sensor. Yeah, one sensor per cell. Up. Yep. Can if do. You, if you build it really big, we can probably avoid one per cell. Like, if you put one in the furthest cell away from the gas inlet. Yep. But if you build a 2x2 two two or something, you just yeah. need two. I was tempted to build two 2x2 two two airlocks on the entry to the new base. Just so if someone's going in, someone else can go out. That was what I was tempted to I do. I actually tested it with one of the new vents, and like this 2 by one airlock with the new vents is super fast. Okay, so, so I can... Maybe, yeah, right, maybe we are happy one. with just that, but I guess we can test. Well, I was just more thinking it's not kind of nice if we're all going inside at once for it not being crammed into the thing, but yeah, 2 by one's okay. But a 2 by 2 is kind of nice because you can put a locker in there and stuff. Yeah, sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to start working on the new base. Uh, hopefully TFE hasn't used up all of the resources that Nev printed off for it. Hey. There should be tons of frames and <laughs> sheets, I think. He hasn't. It's all good. Just can't pass up an opportunity to give TFE grief. No, the vending machine's broken. Well, not broken. I guess it's just got no potatoes at the other end. Oh. I was about to say, like, I leave you alone in that room for, like, five seconds and you already <laughs> broke it. <laughs> And yes, I am working on uh, fixing that, so please hang on tight. Uh, Kapak, were you going to come over to the new base as well? Yep, yep, I'm going to head over there. Um, I can show you what I've been working on. It's having some issues that I had a look at uh, other people having a similar issue, and their solutions didn't seem to resolve it. Oh, okay. So maybe you can figure out what's going on. Are you talking about your mining setup? Uh, I'll show you when we get over there. Hey, hey, what are you... No. Hmm? I need to come out as well. No, well, that looks <laughs> faster now. It'll be fine. You, TFA. Come on, man. Oh, well, he doesn't know I renamed his ball court yet. <laughs> what? What? What did you name it? I named it what it's called. Great, now what? I'm going to look around the whole thing looking for a sign. Oh. Ah, clever. It is the Tluckley. Bless you. Isn't the, isn't that the game where they like where they like rob the spectators when they won? Uh, Tluckley is the ancient Nahuatl word for the ball court. Oh, I thought it might have been. I just wasn't sure mm. when you said it. Um, cool. it's a, the Aztecs. Yeah, basically, Capax made your ball sport into a death sport. We yeah. think. We're not really I mean, sure what the rules were of the game. I think anyone on this planet is participating in a death sport. All spectators will be killed. Is that you boinging over there, Kamak? Yep. Boing. 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 And he's going mad again. Again? Repeatedly? I don't know. I thought it was a continuation. That's difficult to tell sometimes. As far as I can tell, this should be working. Okay. But it is not. What have you done? It says that it's locked. But I can't figure out any way to unlock it oh the the lift is that what you're saying is broken yeah uh but if you want to follow me down here hang on i'm just going to start at the top and just make sure that 
the simple stuff is correct. This was all this was all functional when you had the drill on it, yeah? Is that uh, correct, Cap Mike? This was What? Oh the electrical stuff, yes. Are there two different blocks, Capac? Uh there's two different variations of the block. So Because there's no um, elevator car. I see, I just moved one from above it, but now I can't place one back in again. I wonder if you have to build from the bottom. Great, I gotta rebuild this whole thing then. Yeah, you probably do. That is obnoxious. Also, uh, heads up. Did it get to you? What? I just threw an elevator piece at you. I'm pretty high up. Oh! Battery and my angle grinders run out. All right, I'll help you build this up. Okay, let's see if this works. And not interact as the device is not powered. Uh, the battery here is dead. Okay, the heating system seems to be working. As I reach minus twenty, all the ice vanished. Nice. So we'll probably set it to like minus fifteen just to be safe. Yep. How many heaters do you think we're gonna need to make that happen quickly enough? I guess we can test that. Well, this one has two. Well, yep. one for each cell. Yep. I was thinking that might be what we require. It's probably the same thing as with uh, sensor placement. If we have like a big airlock, the heating should be away from the sensor. So if the sensor measure heated up, then we can be sure everything is heated up. Yep. Uh, do we want the light with the airlock always on? Do we want to come on when we use the airlock? Um, Maybe red and flashing when it's uh, in process or in progress. I, mean. I think, I think we want, like, I think we can oh. just have a light that's manually on, and we just leave Thought that. Flashing would be annoying. <laughs> yeah, I feel like maybe could you use a diode? Yeah, yeah, it is a diode because that's the one you can color. Yeah, so I was thinking it should be. I figured maybe turn red on depressure, blue or green on repressurization or something like that, and then white or off when it's ready. Yeah. Yeah. The question is white or off? <laughs> um, I think white when it's ready, because it indicates that there is power in the system and it's ready to be used. Yeah, sure. Are we still putting ice in this uh, machine over here? The ice crusher? Uh, yeah, as long as you don't put volatiles in there. Or the nitrous oxide pure ice. Okay, I only put volatiles. Got it. Oh dear. Well, it shouldn't immediately explode. But don't take my word for it. Well, what did you actually put in there? Oh, water ice. Well, that's not ideal either. What? I thought that's what this was for. That's what I just oh, asked. You did. The that the one for gases. The water one is over here at the big tanks. What? Yep. Yeah. Can't back to the soul. When did this that happen? This is the one for the water. They already told me that. But it's fine, we can just drain it. The water one used to be over here. Yeah, and then TFE exploded this whole section. Oh, <laughs> right, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'd, I'd never do such a thing. My health is at 32%. 31. Yeah, I was, um... I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to keep working, it'll be okay, I'll be fine, I'm sure it'll be um, fine. Oh right, I need the beacon, Probably fine. The beacon at? Unless it's still like super hot in the drinking house. It is. Light. So what you're telling me is I should make a portable aircon for in here? Uh, like, if you want to, it's just a warning I think if you're in there, but it's not pleasant. So with the with the um the gases and things, mm -hmm. uh, what happens if what happens if I put a bunch of like water in the greenhouse? Uh, if you try and release water vapor in the greenhouse, it yeah. gets all foggy, and you will probably be attacked by someone in purple. And does it show up? <laughs> does it show up as like a gas in the? It shows up as a liquid. Uh, the, the tablet does show tablet. it with your atmospheric thing, but yeah, it's, it shows up as a liquid. I'm hoping my health starts going up. Yep, it started going up. Good. Aww. <laughs> Wait, um, why is there a function 
in MIPS that's halt and catch fire. <laughs> like for error checking, so you can make the <laughs> so you can make the IC uh, post an error code. You know something happens; it should never happen, or something like that. But wouldn't that just be called pro error and not catch fire? Uh, it's programmer humor. <laughs> Wait, what? Why have I got oxygen low in here? It's Is probably because low? of the extreme okay, heat. Okay, the, the temperature's up to 68 degrees in here. Yeah, we I'm going to sort it out something. shortly. Yo, Kavak, I'm afraid today you must turn on us, unfortunately. What? what? Well, it's day 66. <laughs> I just found out something about this game that I wish were a thing. So I'm currently sitting on a chair, looking at a laptop, and I cannot edit the code on the laptop now. Oh. What? Damn, that is unfortunate. I mean, I don't know how you type with a drill in your hand. Don't question my ways. Can you move the seat closer to the table? No, I can't. Oh, <laughs> press the scooch button. Mm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, because of the changes I'm making to the court, all the ice is forming a little bit down the sides, and when it um dissolves it all flies upwards <laughs> one of the pipes burst what destroyed due to presence of liquid ah ah you might have to attach a liquid tank to it where all the liquids can go oh just a drain some sort of drain valve yeah oh it makes sense that was that the exterior side that. that got the liquid in it so yeah we yeah just need a, yeah need a the exterior dump. side versus the ice was that uh okay that's all right. That's that's relatively easy to do, and I can I'll make sure that's included in the system at the new base. I'm trying to work out what was needed to make new pills. Um, we well, need phenoxetone, which is made from a fern. I haven't seen many of those around here. Yeah, I found some ferns. Uh, you you should be able to place one. Some delicious Martian ferns. Hopefully, one day we will make this place a place where the plants can grow outside. Outside. And then we'll accidentally dump a whole load of volatiles into the atmosphere. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, Why that's do I feel like when TFE says accidentally, that's not going to be accidental? Oh wait, no, that's right. Totally accidental. Oh. It's not funny if it's on purpose. <laughs> Unless you don't tell everyone else that it was on purpose. Oh. It's four, de it's four degrees in here now. Nice. Oh, turn off the aircon. <laughs> <laughs> Is this yeah. cold? Oh. Yeah, okay. Three degrees, oh, I guess yeah. Better than uh, 60. Air conditioning that can freeze water. Uh, a liquid drain. Oh! Oh, this, is it drain what? for hey. letting... I'm oh, here yes. as well! You almost screamed oh. me! <laughs> Jeez, you just come man. in, I thought you were going to be in there for a while. What? No! <laughs> you almost crushed me in the airlock before, I know how you feel, Shadow. Well, actually, I literally just oh. came in and then went straight back out again, pretty much. Because I'm setting up the waste tank thingies. Which are functional, by the way. You just need to swap with the empty canister because it takes a little while to empty. So, okay, cool. Moves liquids from the pipe network to the world atmosphere. That's the one I want. And just remember, put it in the brown canister emptier. Do not put it in the yellow one. If it's brown, drink it down. If it's black, send it back. If it's yellow, let it mellow. Uh, the proper base will definitely need signs for stuff like that here put your dirty tanks here you can fill it with oxygen yeah don't get them confused <laughs> well at least it's not on my conscious anymore mm. Can't i don't like me. these flat walls for walls walls put some greebles on them this, yeah i'm gonna replace like them walls with, with pattern walls. yeah I, I like them for the roof and the floor like wall flat are good for roof and floor but they're not they don't have the best wall patterns uh, we have any spare water oh, pipes? So, some of the ones see. against the walls you can make windows so we can see the rock. Uh, for this bit I wasn't planning on it, but for further in, yeah. What, you don't want decorative air locks? Well, because I'm planning on putting um, lockers in there and there's going to be so much stuff mounted to the walls that I just don't think it's going to be feasible. Uh, what's an ogre? An auger? Oh, an ogre. Isn't that a horizontal mining machine? Oh, that's a thing? Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, requires smarts to make it work. Oh, well, I guess it's not for us then. Yeah, it's definitely not for the two of us. Should we start making some more nuclear batteries? 
Well, we could definitely use some more. I forget what they cost. I'm just looking at them now. Uh, five steel, five ink canal, and ten astraloy. There's enough in here for two. I'll make two. I guess I will make some more. The more pocket sized nuclear reactors, the better. That's what I say. Oh, I think I went to the wrong mountain. Maybe you need to put the antenna or something back on top so you can see it from the distance. Although I can't see it anymore because someone put it like a big sports arena in the way. It's fine. <laughs> you mean the Tlachtli? Yeah. And I think TFE is lucky that uh, Shadow didn't spot the mismatch in the wall pattern yet. It's fine. I mean, what? <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. No. That's it, I'm leaving. Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> Run away! Run. Are oh, you evil, evil man, Nev? Run for your lives! Yeah, don't, also don't look at the pattern inside either. Um. What? Oh, a... oh, oh. We need a new base. <laughs> well, I'm working on that. It's fine. The inside oh, pattern should be linked to the, the outside pain pattern. I do. Well, we're not allowed to have variety in the pattern. Oh, I... Okay, no, I need to stop looking at this. Uh, this I know my sanity. How big is the mountain we are building in? Will it have an inside basketball court? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, probably. Uh, maybe if it's below the ground level. Might be a bit risky to try to dig out something that large at ground level. Yeah, that's that's a fair point. At least it's not blocking the solar panels. I think the hot air in the eating house has damaged my lungs. Uh, I guess yeah, at some I've point we will need some tablets. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck with an oxygen supply warning even yeah, though... Yeah, so am I. Well, the new and improved port is... well... Version 2.0 is complete. <laughs> okay, I don't know if we're actually going to use this elevator all that much. How slow is it? It's pretty slow. <laughs> well, I mean, it's... we kind of need to have one. Because if we don't have one, then... we have to jetpack on the inside of our base, and... that just feels weird. Well, I've, I've had an idea with this elevator as well. Can we, like, make a staircase? Yeah, we can probably make a staircase. I think Since once we get stuff. more of the base done... Mm -hmm. Is this, like, the landing pad you can make for shuttles? I think putting it on, a like, a tower so that we can ride the elevator up to it would be pretty cool. Oh, yeah. It's very orange. Uh, yeah, you can paint it if you like. No? They, they no, come out I, as orange. I don't disagree. <laughs> Didn't think you would. Is there some sort of half block I could use as like a net? Uh, no. no. I can just use a full size wall. I guess a window. I mean, there is an actual net you can make. Uh, you, you could this. use. Oh, actually, uh, you could the use. Loop. That's all I thought. You could use a bunch net. of chutes. So you have to get the ball into the chute, oh, yeah, you, and then you, the chute takes a ball and like deposits it into like the middle of the court for like the next. Yeah, you can, you can actually like do that for the reset. Uh, but yeah. TFE, you could also use pipes as the net, because pipes have collisions. At what point are we going to actually attempt to pressurize this new base? Yeah, I will put that at a bit later, possibly after we have a gas storage and processing system. We can just do it properly from the start, instead of just throwing ices around again. <laughs> oh, but I'm throwing ices around. So what you're telling me is, my first goal should be to set up the gas storage system. Uh, maybe designate, I don't know, do we hit, is there like an internal structure yet, or... I figured uh, we would have like a rough layout before we even start thinking about building stuff like that. Oh, right, you want me to lay out. Alright, so I don't really need to worry about setting up the airlocks then at this stage. Uh, having the plan for them is probably a good idea. Like having the space set aside for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. But not actually building the airlocks and stuff like that. Right, I'll just work on making the main corridor rather than doing anything functional. Because that's what I was trying to decide, whether I do functional stuff and work on the functional... work on the functions as I go, or whether I just plonk stuff down and create, spa create spaces for things. But the more of this, um, if we get more of this tunnel framework set up, then we can, like, 
We could start sectioning it off and have like temporary sealed areas. The, the gas storage and processing system is probably going to end up rather large. So you probably want to go downstairs with that? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of making it below ground. I, I mean, you could Whoa, is that you? A, you could yeah, designate in a room for that and start putting in pipes. That, the pipe system that goes towards that. What's all this stuff in this mist in the air? That's water. Can I get you digging out the corridors as well? Yep. Although at the moment I'm cleaning up all this mess you've left behind. Cool. Thanks. Uh, actually, we might want to start thinking about getting some storage over here. Yeah. Rather than hauling stuff over to the old base just to bring it back again later. Yeah, that's probably uh, not a bad idea. A storage and production room and power infrastructure is probably what we can do long before we have an atmosphere. Uh, I will make a lot more astroloy so we can make a bunch of heavy solar panels. Uh, do we have any cabinets over there, like uh, unconstructed ones I could just bring well, over you, here? You can just make some lockers at the what I like. Yeah, I'm gonna head back now and do that. Drop off some of these ores. Five minute check on Black Show being muted. I am aware. I am viciously typing. <laughs> what? Viciously typing? Yeah, you Shadow's don't... coding typing yeah. is aggressive. I am very passionate about what I do. <laughs> yeah, because you're there smashing the keyboard. Why won't you work? That's capaxing center coding. <laughs> yep. I mean, it is pretty accurate, so... <laughs> Alright. So where am I actually supposed to put the water ice? Is it the blue uh, one here? No, 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 that's oxygen. Here, back that's... between the large big tanks, ah, this one this is for one. water. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna make some more of those signs. Crush that ice, smash it up. Okay, so I don't want to be very optimistic about this yet, but so far the program seems to be working. It's that's adding nitrogen program? instead of uh, carbon dioxide because we are under pressure in the greenhouse. So, when it's above oh. 75 kilopascals, it won't add anything, but when it's below, it will check the ratio, like, what gas do I need to add, and then add that gas. Fancy. Yeah. That'll be... I should be able yeah, to walk you through it later. We should definitely have something like that for the base as well, just with a different mixture than for breathing. Ah. Well, I mean... I mean, it should be very easy to alter. Uh, for breathing and growing, like, like 5% CO2 or something. And... Yeah, because the plants don't need a lot of CO2 and to, to be optimal. So we can have a suitable for plants and suitable for breathing atmosphere, which means the greenhouse doesn't have to be isolated, which I, th I personally is is my preference because I, I, I feel like being able to walk among the plants with your helmets off is kind of nice. Uh, we probably have enough water for all eternity in the system anyway, so we can just mark the new system as a new base. <laughs> True. Oh yeah, how are we going to move the liquids and stuff between the bases? A really long pipe. <laughs> um, release them in the atmosphere and catch them on the other side. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that idea. Have <laughs> Put, put them into a container and then fire the container across to the other base. Well, if we put them into a room and then freeze them, then we can just pick up the bits. Suppose that's one way to do it. <laughs> you really... I've, I've disappointed you, haven't I, Nev? No, it's, it's an interesting idea to freeze them and carry them as ice. <laughs> well, that'd work. It, it costs so much power to freeze them. <laughs> Ooh. I'm I mean, on board with this idea you... if we use the sports arena as freezing room. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's right next to the tanks. Oh, it's I mean, a bit big. Because the portable air conditioner can get down to what? Four or five degrees? That's yeah, but you need to go down to a negative 200 or something to freeze the oxygen and nitrogen. Yeah. But freezing the water wouldn't be too bad. I love that. I love that we went and built like a vending machine that comes from the greenhouse so Shadow's kind of got her own room and we don't go in there instead of building an airlock between the two rooms. Yeah, stuff just emerges from that room into the other one. Wow, uh, you're at like half. I'm at 43% health, yeah. What's, what happened? Uh, dehydration. Ah. 
I've got an option to repair you with duct tape. Then I, try? I don't have any duct tape. I should probably uh, make some. There's pl there's plenty around the place, I think. Oh, I want fancy duct tape. Right, you can make someone try and repair me. Mark there's two. actually Mark II duct tape here. Yeah. What's the difference between Mark One and Mark II? Uh, no Mark II is green. Can you actually repair me? Uh, how? I'm holding it. Should just be like right clicking. Yeah, I'm not getting any options to actually use it. Yeah, it's from damaging my suit and helmet when I did TFE ski jump. <laughs> yeah, I had to do it. I'm back and yeah, you appear to be a little bit damaged. Yeah, I am. Also, your suit. <laughs> And we are really running out of resources. Well, TFE hasn't been mining, he's been making things, so... Been making sports buildings. <laughs> yeah. It's all my fault. Well, after this I can go and deploy the Heavy Miner. Ah, did yeah, we I make, made one for did myself you make too, some of them? Really nice. I did make yeah, one for Yeah, we're almost out of iron and copper. Ah. I haven't been finding much copper. Capac, are you still around here? Yeah. Do you reckon three wide's big enough for the main corridor, or should we go five? I know it's going to be a lot of resources to do it, but it just means we've ah. got lots of space to do, to put pipes in and stuff. Well, I was just thinking about that. We could actually, I was thinking about doing like a sub-level under this section where we can run all the industrial stuff. Um, yeah. That's, that's, that's where I was imagining most of the industrial stuff would go. But what I mean is along this main corridor, because we're going to have rooms coming off it, we need to have pipes of the main gases. So oxygen, CO2, nitrogen. What else do we need? Shadow Nev? What are Shadow the gas Nev. lines that we should have? Uh, uh, oxygen, power. nitrogen, carbon dioxide, volatile uh, nitrous oxide. We should have a waste line that goes down to the filtration system. Yep. Um, here are the main gases, the shadow set. Well, do we need do we need nitrous oxide running through the whole base? Probably mm, not. Not so, necessarily, but we do need that pipe somewhere. Alright, so I think... Yeah, depending yeah. on where we have our furnace set up in comparison to our gas storage. I think so what, I'm, what I'm thinking about is the stuff that would need to go... So the furnace should be near the gas storage because it's going to have the most complex gases going back and forth between the two. But... You want to use a... a NOS-fired furnace? Do we want to use a NOS-fired furnace? It's hotter. NOS is a better oxidant than pure oxygen. I yeah. wonder if it's cleaner only, as well. You only mix uh, what, two to one, I think, not three to one. Uh, it's a one to one, first. I believe. Uh, one so to one, right? Not two to we two want, one. We want two systems, right? We want like like a gas collection system. Yeah, and that's then like we... the waste gas system that goes down to the gas collection system and then back up from the gas collection system. You have like the usable gas that's after filtering. Yeah, we we want like a main like gas hub that does all the processing and storage right and then we want a like a delivery system that takes pipes out to different areas where the gases are needed and then a waste system that takes any waste back to the system to be refiltered so yeah. the the things i guess we need to work out so that capac and i can start working on the layout of this base are what rooms do we need and then Capac and I can think about what pipes are needed between those rooms. So we're obviously going to need a, ga a large gas storage system for usable gases. And then we, on top of that, we need to have a terraforming gas storage system for storing all of the pollutant, which may well be in a freezing cold room that is not a tank at all and is just so cold that we can freeze the pollutant. What happens if the... If you run physically out of pollution? space. What happens if we run out of space in that room? Yes. If there's ice in there and there's no space to crystallize into. I don't even know if we can crystallize pollutant. Yeah, it has a freezing point yeah. at... Minus... It be like 100? Uh, minus 100 minus. degrees Celsius. Yeah, 175 Kelvin, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we should be able to freeze it. What I was thinking is, we have a freezing system and then chutes that pump it into somewhere where it can be safely stored. So 
So it gets just picked up from the floor. So the room is kept cold and we just keep pumping pollutant in and then storing it and then selling it off to traders. Yeah. Although I wonder if storing it as a gas isn't easier. But I guess we will see. It just... One of the big problems with pollutant is you... It's really hard to store as a gas because it liquefies really easily. Yeah, we would definitely have to temperature control it very well. Um, so you can't store much gas at much pressure, whereas if we create a room, the pressure differentials across a steel wall are actually pretty good. The tolerances if, for that. If we heat up the pollutant to over... Uh, let me turn on Celsius again. To over like 200, it should be fine on any pressure. But of course, we also have to keep it at that temperature. Or we just make a liquid pollutant tank. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like I was just thinking your room would bowls, have but... some benefits to, you know... Well, we can definitely give it a try. Let's see how that works. It's like and a bit of future thing doing anyway. something different as well. Like, I know there are better systems, but I'm like, well, this could be fun. Yeah. Although it, yeah, it, okay. all, it all branches off from... Well, maybe from the same system. At least if we catch, like, pollutant in our filtered air, it should probably go to the same system. Yeah, um, but, but I was, if you start I was thinking, terraforming, like the... it should probably have its own <laughs> sorting system. Yeah, and I was thinking that the pollutant storage area would probably be best kept away from all the others, just in case catastrophe, we can have it in a... We, if we are storing it in tanks initially, which we probably will, um, then that room should be kept airlocked separate to everything else. Because hopefully then it won't be able to completely evacuate if it goes... Things go sideways. Oh, yeah. but, but anyway, so we'd have a terraforming gas setup, a usual gas setup, a storage room, a production room with all the different production devices, I guess. Next was a storage room, idly. Yeah, yeah. Or even as part of the storage room, depending on how we do the storage. Unless we're using vending machines. But vending machines can be quite painful if you have two, more than a couple of different items in them. I find. You mean for item storage? Yeah. I have an idea on how we might be able to do that. Oh yeah? So we can just have silos and attached to those silos have vending machines. So we can just extract a stack. So a vending machine will only have one stack. Or one type of item, I should say. Yeah, but you need like tons of vending machines then. Yeah. Yeah. Or we could just have the silos accessible as well. Because uh, the big issue I have with vending machines is scrolling through all the items in them is a pain. And that's why I kind of like having stuff in lockers, because you can actually, you can just see everything. That's good. I think for for certain items, having a vending machine to work for it, like we could have a vending machine that has the certain, like the frames, the, or the steel plate, the plastic sheets, the, like a few of those things, because then there's not too many things to scroll through. And then we just have, I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't want all of our storage going into one place because of my experience of all the other things is that it's just, it's more painful than having it in lockers. But I am happy to be proved wrong if the system worked better than that. Oh yeah, Capac, we should probably start figuring out where, one of the early things we should do over there is figure out where we're going to put the solar panel, solar array. Uh, I was thinking outside. <sighs> Yeah, put up a solar array, put up a battery, then it can start charging. Oh yeah, so we need a battery room. <laughs> we can have a bunch of batteries down there. I, I assume we're going to run the station wires. batteries is yeah, usually a good idea. The battery room is then also the, the fuse room, like with power distribution lines and split. Yeah. I was thinking heavy cable through most of, like, most of the base, and then we just branch off with transformers to when we're actually using the power. So we should probably start with a small battery room like close to the airlock. And then that can be like its own sort of self-contained system. The, the power for the airlocks once we switch over. Yeah, what you're thinking. it can be like a dedicated uh, like backup battery to run the, uh, the airlocks in case anything goes wrong with the uh, main power system. Yep. Alright, come back. I'm just going to grab some cladding and then do you want to come over with me and we'll see about deciding where we're going to put the power generation? I don't know, it sounds like work. 
well, you make a decision and then I build it. Does that uh, sound like work? Yeah, it sounds... When you put it that way, it sounds a bit more tolerable. Yeah, I basically just want to talk it through with someone. Alright, I've got two ideas. Uh, tell me what you think, Spitzy. Bag end, hey? So that's option one. Uh, okay. Let's see if option two works. All right, what do you think of option number two? Hole, sweet hole. Yeah. Um, not sure which of those I like more. I've got another preference? sign. We could do both. No, I, I think we should make a decision. I think we should choose, but hole, sweet hole, or bag end. <laughs> <laughs> I like bag end more than hole, sweet hole. Hole sweet hole just sounds a bit wrong under some circumstances. And bag end doesn't. No. And yet you're asking earlier. <laughs> it's a Hobbit reference. I know, but I know that definitely with my accent it will sound a little bit differently. Can you not put a sign on a clad wall? Uh, you put the sign up and then, so take the clad down. But it, it looks like if you put it underneath the it, like it doesn't look like it's big enough to stick out of the cladding. If it's sticking out of this wall, it'll stick out of the cladding. Uh. I think. The cladding that I've used is not thick. Annoyingly, there's no wall bits of cladding to go on these slopey bits. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we should have just, we should have been talking about the position of the solar panels, not the bag end hole sweet hole. Because... <laughs> Now it's dark. And how many choices for the solar panels do you have? They need to go uh, east west. We have so many choices, Nev. They could go up on the top of the mountain. They could go across this valley. They could go. Yeah, there's so many places. You can't put them on like a movable track thing, can you? No, there's no movable, there's movable things. Oh. No stuff like this. Well, do we want to put them at the top of the mountain? Because that's where they're going to get the optimal sunlight. I thought we were going to do a big, uh, like, atmospheric collection and redistrib redistribution tower at the top of the mountain. So one idea I had was we come up here. Hmm. I need to do some sketches. <laughs> yeah, one of the ideas I had was at sort of this level, we kind of cut into the mountain a bit. and then you mean make like a big here? Yeah, a bit like that. Uh, and then we make a bit of a greenhouse that sticks out here. So this would be the greenhouse area. Okay. So we'd have a kind of glass that's, or even up at this level up here. This isn't the top, is it? This is part no. way up. Yeah, so more at this sort of level. So we cut into the mountain, but then we just follow the mountain's shape a bit and just have glass sticking out of it, coming out even further, and then that becomes the big greenhouse that's up at this level. Um, and then we could do solar panels, maybe they could be down towards the ground level and running out across the valley because when they need to be east west because there's not a lot of north south Hydration like critical. line space up here at the top of the mountain so we wouldn't be able to get that many solar panels down before we'd need to stack them in rows and block, e block each other which we'll do eventually anyway um because if we're going to have enough solar panels we'd, to have enough solar panels we'll need to have multiple rows otherwise it's just going to be one the line will be just way too long and I'm kind of tempted to put them down in the valley I can sh demo I can get you to come down there. I can show you what I'm thinking. Oh, actually, I've got an idea. Huh? You want them down in the valley? I was thinking of suspending them a few blocks above the valley floor. Oh, uh, what I was thinking was we continue these blocks out this way. Huh? We have like a like a promenade with a, like a row of solar panels on either side. It's like an avenue that's lined with solar panels that leads towards the entrance to the mountain. Yeah, I think that'll just be annoying when you're coming back from mining. No, because we'll, we'll have a bit of a gap, like, here, so you can get past. But then there'll just be, like, two rows that extend outwards from the front. I don't know, for, like, ten blocks or something on each side, so, like, twenty solar panels. How many solar panels do you guys think we're going to need for all of the terraforming atmospherics? Oh. Uh, a lot infinite yeah but like these ones are like half decorative so well that's why i'm thinking if we went up a level we could we wouldn't have to stop at two rows if we went up say two levels yeah. higher but we'll do we'll do a bigger farm somewhere else but i i want to build the proper farm i was hoping we, to build the proper farm look, to start off with 
No, we don't want to. It'll take way too much materials, and it's massive overkill for what we're going to need to start with. That, that whole point. Is Just nice. having a small decorative array of solar panels will be enough to get us started, and then we can build like a proper big farm somewhere else that isn't directly outside the front door. Uh, this is actually going to cost more resources than building it elevated. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. No, no, no. Let me explain why. No. Because if we build it elevated, you don't need any sort of flooring in between. Unless you're going to go and get the dirt thing and fill this in with dirt in between them. Um. Actually, why don't you do that? I want me to just do dirt now. That's my punishment. <laughs> my punishment for disagreeing is I got to be a dirtman. Hey, you know what you did. Everyone knows Capic is a mole man. Oh. It's true. I do rarely leave my basement. I was also thinking, Capac, if you get the dirt thing, then we can fill in the hole that TFE dug in the front of the at the front of the place. No idea what you're talking about. <laughs> and he call, calls me a mole person. He's just running around digging holes everywhere. I'm going somewhat the wrong direction. <laughs> How did you way. go somewhat the wrong direction? I was about ten degrees off on my heading. So literally somewhat the wrong direction. Oh. Yep. Capac subscribes to the there are degrees of wrong theory of wrongness rather than it being a dichotomous variable. Hmm. Otherwise I'd pretty much have to write off my entire existence. <laughs> oh, get out of here, icicles! I'll admit, there's a part of me that kind of likes your idea with this Capac. Which of my many genius ideas are you talking about? Why is there a one times the one thing sign? we were literally talking about just a few moments ago. What? One times one sign? Yeah, in the airlock. The airlock? What? Yeah, work in progress. Uh, uh, does that mean I'm just stuck in here while you're working on it? No. Yeah, see? This looks cool. It's like a tree-lined avenue. Yeah, I'm on board with it. Except the trees move. And are made of metal. Yes. I won't rest until everything is metal. Blacker than the blackest black! I forgot to get my dirt bucket. <laughs> so you were actually- you did actually make the dirt thing? No, I was going to, but I totally forgot. <laughs> good job. Looking good, Kavak? Looking good? Uh, and Kavak, do you want to fill in this little divot? Nope. Does it not let you? Nope. I can go, like, if I go over the metal blocks a bit, I can even it out. Yeah, that's what I was meaning. Oh. <laughs> I was just gonna say, if you left that open, you could put, like, a glass wall in in both of the airlocks, and then this could be, like, a security checkpoint where you get to vet people coming <laughs> in and decide no, whether the, or not they could come through. That space in there is for all the electronics and stuff. Boring. <laughs> Uh, how do you access uh, that area from the outside or from the inside? Or do you just not access uh -oh. this after we build it? No, we got ice formation. Who are we talking? Are you talking to me? I was, yes. Are you over here? No. But I'm just wondering about your service corridor if it's for access from the inside or the outside. Oh, right. So this, uh, this, this is just a tiny little service room just for the airlocks. Uh, and it will be accessible from the inside. Should actually put a hatch on it. Should actually come over there. I haven't even seen what you're doing. Yeah, and then we can talk through a few things. Uh, do you need anything I should bring? While I'm on my you way? can bring as many steel frames and steel sheets as you want. We need so many. Wait, rather than putting, hmm, because you well, can make maybe a, a service hatch or you something. Can, yeah, you can make ladders or something. Make a ladder that goes to like down downstairs and then we'll have like um maintenance access from the maintenance corridor underneath well i was thinking of turning this central bit into the main into a maintenance corridor what no so mm. if i dig if i remove these steel cubes and turn them into a corridor and then we put flooring over the top no it's lame we need a big service corridor i think we're out of chu and steel frames if we're gonna put all the pipes and stuff in it, we want it to be pretty large. That's why I've been digging out underneath. 
Oh, jeez. So, wait, how many corridors are we having? Well, there's going to be, like, one main corridor through the base, and it's going to have the main service corridor underneath. Yeah, but can't the main corridor be the main service corridor? No. Really? Yeah, because it's got to be pleasant up here, not full of pipes. The pipes actually hide behind the walls and the wall panels. So what we're saying is we're going to lose Splitsy in the corridors pretty quickly. No, we want a big, open, cool space base corridor, and then beneath yeah, and I it... I thought having, like, pipes and stuff would make it look cool, because it's then not just flat. No, you want it nice and clean, space aesthetic. Now, have you start? Have you left yet? Yes. Okay. And then you have the crazy pipe maze underneath. So the space that I, I created all this volume in here that's ah. accessible. Oh, we can we could even put like a tank up there for the Yeah. To. That's what I was thinking. Have enough if there's enough space up the top here then we can put a tank down for each airlock, we can put a bunch of different stuff in and it's all it should all be connected to the interior space so it'll be um temperature controlled. So the corridor then goes round to here. And then turns again. And then there's the lift over here. Ah, here's the lift. Okay. Does it lift go down all the way to the bedrock? Yep. Yes. Oh, that looks deep. It is. Surprise, Capac Cap hasn't ripped it up to put a level in here so we can actually use it. Wait, did Capac Because I'll have to do the pit? whole thing every time I want to put put a new level in, apparently. I'm just so I'm going to take out one of the sections and put a level in? Apparently not. Oh, that's Yeah, stupid. it was breaking for us. If we did that. In terms of rooms and stuff, so Capac's idea is to make a giant corridor underneath this as a service corridor. Already on it. I imagine the service corridor should only be one block high though, which is pretty much what he's mined out. Because uh, otherwise, the air volume of all of this is going to be insane. It's going to be insane anyway. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I mean, what we can do is we can pop out the occasional roof bit and just have the two air, two spaces communicate nicely and then have all the vents that suck in air and out and circulate all in this service access area. Because um, I was thinking... Do if we actually two need blocks... frames in the floor? If we have, like, a service corridor below? We, like, have just ceilings? Well, I wasn't intending a service corridor to be below. I was potentially going to rip up this middle row and put flooring across it and use that as just a single block wide. I mean, you could maybe, Capac well, if you like the aesthetic, you could even have, like, a glass ceiling and see into the service corridor or something, but I'm not sure it looks that good unless we take really good care of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, what I'm thinking for the service corridor is to have, like, all of the all of the pipes carrying the different stuff to be running along, like, the ceiling of the maintenance corridor. Yeah, so that would basically be on, on these frames that we are seeing now. Yeah, so if, if we replace those frames with, like, flooring above, then we could put the maintenance uh, pipes in the space where these frames are, and then we just need one block of space underneath that. Uh, do you have any frames on you? Uh, I don't. We were no, out. I, I put some on in the machine and left. So this is the height that the floor's at? Yeah. Is that what you're imagining? Yeah, so yeah, if we get rid of the frames above and replace the, the, the main corridor with floor, then yeah, then the maintenance corridor can be this tall. Even if we... plenty of room for pipes. Oh, I, think it, I think this even leaves plenty of room for pipes. Yeah, even if you don't do that, you have the ceiling, you have the walls, and you could even build it the way that you leave like the center block empty for walking and use left and right for extra piping. Or well, maybe kinda, even shoots if we start doing stuff as that. I kind of like your idea of having the window so we can see. Because if we do like the main pipes going down the middle and we have the middle of the floor uh, replaced with glass, then you'll be able to see like the colored pipes running along underneath the floor. I think that would be pretty cool. I think I can see what Capac's getting at. I like that the corridor is like full three wide. It actually gives us space to like put in shoots for stuff if we want to. Yeah, that's fair. All right, I'll start ripping up the floor. Wait, no, I'll go start making. I've got to decide what material I'm going to make the floor out of. The corridor. Okay, if we take out uh... maybe flat walls. You're just going to basically rebuild the entire production thing over here. 
Well, if you need like Suckers. 200 million pipes. <laughs> yeah. I also put I mean, uh, could... the second auto lace here on steel plate duty, uh, steel sheet duty. Okay, also, so... isn't it way easier to just bring over the steel ingots rather than all the frames? Um, you don't have a machine over there. Or power. power. Or anything. Ah, okay. <laughs> Never mind. You've, you've also not been over, have you? Uh, no. But I did make 800 steel. Very oh, we know you built a death Appreciate star. Appreciate it. You okay there, TFE? Yeah. You're just, you've been standing there for a while. Yeah. Uh, how come you're standing there? Because uh, <laughs> I was switching a battery and then I was wondering what you were doing. Uh, are you still using little batteries in your suit? Um... Well, I was recharging the large one and someone took it. <laughs> um, TFA, come over here. Don't don't use this one for large batteries, it takes longer. TFA, see see on the left hand side here, there's a nuclear battery? That mm -hmm. should be in your suit. Ah. That's why we made extras. But for you should now, have those two. For now only in this suit. Yeah, just a suit. But yeah, it should totally be in your suit. <laughs> if you have a tool that runs out all the time, like maybe your mining drill, you can put a large one in there. Yeah. I might head back and test out some of these floors then. Then I will come back and TFE, we're gonna have to test out your arena. Ooh. See if you've come up with a decent rule set this time. Wait, there's rules to this? <laughs> you're hey, supposed you're to make some. <laughs> yeah. So I will admit, I do have a uh, nuclear battery in one of my tools. Let me guess. Your what? arc welder. Yep. I have a large one in there. Does it actually empty quickly for you? Yep. Because I'm welding up so many frames and all that sort of stuff, I'm going, I'm chewing uh, through. Yes, I have. Crazy. I've only done um, small welding tasks. Who threw nickel on the ground because the locker is full? Um, instead of making a new backpack? That was probably me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, I was mining in a hurry. That is busted. He's, that is proper busted. He threw it on the ground. Hey, if I was trying to hide it, I would have put it on the other side of the locker. It's not part of your system. Well, I know other people that would have just filled up the hey. cobalt locker instead. <laughs> uh, that would have been better. Like, not saying do it, but... I mean, the, <laughs> throwing it on the ground <laughs> means it's going to go get blown away during a storm. Boy. Huh? Oh, uh -oh. Storm. Ah, storm! Oh, it's a good thing I cleaned up those source then. I better turn off I... the production machines then before <laughs> stuff flies away. I also had oh, like yeah. five second warning of it because the um, X-ray glasses actually changed. You can't see the ores from as far either. We might want to. Um, we may need a weather machine. We're predicting it. Okay, there's the solar panels. I'm close to the base. Why is that? <laughs> so the weather machine boring. predicts it. I was thinking weather machine. You can control the weather. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have to just make tornadoes. <laughs> well, that's what you think when you hear weather machine. Yeah, not fair. I guess I'm not coming over with all the materials I picked up. <laughs> I guess not. I need some drink anyway. And yeah, TFA, we're gonna have to wait till after the storm before we try and play any ball games. I wonder if the storms are gonna get more brutal as we um, increase the pressure of the atmosphere. That's a good question. Because there'll be more air pushing against us, so it might be worse. Hi. Uh, was that a Y from Shadow? Was then. Oh, off. no, I'm just doing stuff with plants. They're okay, just growing poorly for some reason, and I don't know why. Growth uh, temperature what's... range 2030, I'm at 23 right now. Growth pressure 5110, I'm at 75. What's your What's your atmospheric pressure? 75 kilopascals. I think that's high for them, isn't it? Mm, nope. Which Their plants? ideal is between 50 and 110. Which plants are you uh, looking soybeans. at? Soybeans. And I'm even Soy. looking at their genetic information. 99% growth speed, that should not matter. Light per day, 10 minutes, 5 seconds, and darkness per day, 5 minutes? That should be okay. On the side, gas, 1 kilopascal. Oh. That's fine. Yeah, jumping is hard at the moment. Yeah, Time it's real hard. Dropping. I wonder if there's, like, not enough water? Uh, I'm on how much and the temp there? I don't know. And the temperature was like 10 degrees Celsius last time I checked. And one that's 89 kilomoles still. Yeah, there's plenty yeah, of water good. and it's a 10, 10 C, that should be okay. 
Then why is that plant being a butt? Or is it just complaining at the moment because of the storm? Shouldn't be. It was complaining before as well. Yeah. Oh, and now it's growing moderately well. Hmm. Just wanted attention, I see. <laughs> Have you tried singing to them? Uh, I think it's best for all of us that I don't. Come back, you didn't finish the ladder. Yeah, I needed more pieces. I'm on my way back for some now. I mean, I, could, I was still able to work it without actually using my jetpack, but... Are these windows too see-through? Like, can we see too much because of them? I think they'll be fine once we run a bunch of, like, pipes past them. Oh, right, yeah. So I think, think it's fine. Back here for access. Ah, here's the ladder, huh? Hey, yeah, very cool. We should probably no, have was, a bunch more an around hatch. the place, but... And I like having, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. We should definitely have more access points. having a real floor, I like that. It gives it more, more yeah. depth than just having only glass. Yeah, I wouldn't have been happy with just plain old glass all the way. That would have upset me. There's a cable snake uh, being printed. Oh, <laughs> cool. It's alive. It's alive. I'm just waiting for when it suddenly all goes flying to space. Hmm. Who needs TV? This is a great view. We should also probably, at some point, put some uh, wind turbines down to catch power during the storms. I wonder I if the if wind we're... turbines start working norm a bit uh, without a storm once we start pressurizing a bit more. I'm not sure. Uh, they do. They do produce some power. Um, that they produce heaps during a storm. Like a single one of the big upright turbines can um, burn out a cable oh yeah i was just wondering if uh the generation improves as we improve the atmosphere mm. or if it's independent yeah it, i mean it should shouldn't it um capac yeah did you just put a heavy cable down the middle yep yeah that's not gonna work what do you mean it's not gonna work it's not gonna work we should, There's not enough room for pipes if we put that there. We should probably leave the pipes in the center and put the cable somewhere else. Yeah. There's five rows and we're going to need all of them for pipes if you want to have the pipes visible. The Just cable... Complaining that there was going to be way too much room for everything and now you're saying there's not going to be enough room. No, but the, in the visible part... There's plenty room for cables down there, but there's only yeah. five slots below the window. And I think the pipes will look neater than the cable. The new base is... I feel like now it's actually starting to become a base. <laughs> Other than uh, Capac's hole in the ground. Before it was Rather more or less a tunnel, but... <laughs> hmm. The entrance uh, section actually looks really nice. I didn't see Thanks. it before and... Uh, Pretty happy with it. After mm. seeing it, I was sort of expecting more to be behind it already, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a bit of a false, <laughs> false advertisement, isn't it? Oh no! <sighs> Poop. I was wondering how until you said something like that. <laughs> Forgot that the composite roll covers, you can't, they don't actually create an opening. The composite roll covers are covers so that you can behind it have a bunch of pipes and cables that then you can just roll it up, see them, roll it back down, hide them. Yes. It's like a wall, not a door. So I'm trying to decide whether I want to have a manual hatch out here. Or just a regular old glass door. Or a uh, composite door. I think a composite door is the way to go. Is the composite door the one you can put a label on? Because I really like that one. Yeah. Demonstration colors, eh? Uh, well, I grabbed like all of the colors that were in the ca cabinet, but then I accidentally turned them all into red. <laughs> Except for a couple of pink ones I had left. <laughs> so they can't. So they can't go another block higher than that. If they go. A uh, block higher than that, they clip through the glass. Uh. But that's alright. I think we can probably come up with something that'll make it look like they're supported under the blocks, under the uh, the floor bits that don't have the glass, like the one you're standing yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, when you can't see the ends of them, they won't look so weird. This also does create the opportunity for having seven of them instead of just five if needed, because you'll still be able to see ones that are off to either side. Yeah. Okay, so, TFE, Shadow, this is ah! um, the beginnings. 
Um, <laughs> um, if Kapak gets away from the door... I definitely didn't fall through the, the um, lack of a window. Oh, come on. <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> do, do you not see the thing wrong with the door? Thanks. Oh, oh yeah, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> um, the E being on the se separate line from maintenance. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why is it like that? That's just evil. So, there's access to underground through... Shadow, are you already <laughs> back coding? No. She's playing solitaire. I saw it. <laughs> I was going to say, there's also access to this hole in the floor, which I fell down. Well, there is, but the main, the intentional style of access will be the door and then ladder down like this. Ooh. Or ladder up. Yeah. The ladder up is for getting to the air, the, the airlock access way. Then this will take us down here. In this area, we're going to run all the pipes. We'll run all the cables. Everything will run under here. And that means we can split off pipes and use, and still have clear walking room underneath. Because you can split down and then go off to the side. And we need to. it means Every that... Corridor is so huge now. <laughs> it, yeah. It means that for the... Uh, for access to the rooms, we'll have access to the rooms in the corridor. But we can have maintenance access underneath. So the pipes can go into the room and run up through the floor. Yeah. So what I, what I was trying to work out and what I kind of need us all to... Contribute to the decision of was which end of the base should our living quarters be at? Because we're each going to need a room that's our own that's, and then we'll have a separate spot with cryopods, but a room that's our own where we can put a bed and desk and Shadow can have her laptop uh, working on all her code when she should be sleeping. Hmm. Surely we want to have like a nice view out the window and not just rock. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Well, what, you can do like a skylight or something? No. Hmm. No. Um, underground was the plan, because the only outside area that I was planning was going to be the greenhouse. That was the only bit that was going to be sticking out of the mountain. The, well, the only bit I was imagining was the big greenhouse sticking out the side, and then the other bit that was going to be sticking out was, obvious, was the big gas collector at the top. The gas collection tower. And redistribution tower. It's not working. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> but for, um, for everything else, there. we have lots of space below. I mean, if everyone wants to see how deep it goes, there's an elevator down to hell. <laughs> yes, there oh? is. Actually, do we, should we all get on the elevator? Yeah. Uh, we have to go to the top of the mountain for that, or did we put oh, in a level? Yep. No, Kamek hasn't put another level in. Kamek, is the lift car at the top or the bottom? Uh, yes. All right, up we go. Oh, ah! <laughs> it's very jiggly uh, on my end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are now. You guys quantum. are very jiggly on my end. It's not jiggly on my end at all. No, everyone is. But everybody no, my, is my, jiggly. My and camera doesn't jiggle either. It's all of you that are jiggly. The the higher the latency, the greater the jiggle. Capex least. TFV next. Shadow and Nev are pretty similar. <laughs> Nev's closer to me, so he feels oh. worse. <laughs> I, you guys are no longer on the elevator except for Capac. Everyone's jumping all um, the time. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get up so fast. I think this is a solid start to our base, and this isn't actually that slow, Capac. I don't know what you were complaining about. It well, just took like half an hour. Yeah, but this is like 50 it's levels. a long way up. Yeah. If we can figure out how to actually build it without it being super annoying, I think it could be useful. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, once it's built, it's fine. It's just you have to make sure you plot out where it's going to go before you put it together. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll we'll have a better idea of that once we dig out for the greenhouse. I guess with the greenhouse, we could plan to have our living quarters coming off the greenhouse so that we do have windows. Oh, you can see the avenue from up here now. You can. Yeah, we put down well, a lot of solar panels down there. Yep. Next time, we will continue working on our transfer to the new base and potentially, by some miracle, have another couple of days without disaster. No one got injured today. TFE tried to crush um, Shadow, but no one actually got injured. I, I did injure my lung today, if that counts. 
<laughs> oh, I know one thing to do then. So, so oh, I can go. <laughs> well, oh, dear. Well, there's all that and plenty more to come, and we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah.